Welcome back to the channel. Stuart here with another tool review. Uh, this is one I picked up at the recent London Southwestern Ontario Scale Model Expo uh, from uh, FlexiFile. They are now carrying some of the products from Green Stuff World. And this is one I've seen online um, and a lot of people talking about before. It is a leaf punch. It's one of about a dozen uh, Green Stuff World carries. So uh, they had the whole selection there um, at the uh, show. And you can also, if you go to uh, the FlexiFile website, and we'll put a link in the show notes, you can also get them there. Uh, basically, this is just a punch that takes the idea from the scrapbooking world, where you have um, basically punches in the shapes of different leaves. In this case, it's a variety of maples and oaks and stuff like that. But there is... Uh, ones with just a single uh, type of tree. There's even a roof tile punch. And this is really good for those of you making uh, dioramas, um, any sort of thing requiring tree leaves and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically it's just your standard, it looks like a standard, what you'd see a, what we call a craft punch, I guess, the scrapbookers would call it. And uh, plastic, good solid metal punch there. Fairly, fairly straightforward. I picked this up for less than $15, um, so well worth it. Looks like it's well made. So basically, fairly simple operation. Um, you can take an actual leaf if you want. Uh, the manufacturer does recommend you use dried leaves. I'm going to use just ones I picked up here in the front yard today. And you put it in, and press the button, and I'll move it around a bit, and then basically... As you can see, you've got some little little tiny leaves there. I'll do a couple more just so you get the idea. And in the case of this, you could uh, treat these, again, dry them out. You can also use paper, um, whatever works for you, really. Let me just do a couple more here. And we'll do a couple of these. I actually have a green leaf. Fall is starting to come in my neck of the woods. As you can see, a dry leaf would probably work better than a live one to get in there. Let's see what we can do here. See if we can get one out of this one. If not, then we'll know. Ah, we'll stick it out like that. We'll see. You not get anything out of this one, but we'll see. But you get the idea. You can also use paper. Um, so, for example, I can stick a sheet or two of paper in. And again, a little bit more press depending on the material, not too badly for most things. I wouldn't want to put thick cardstock or something through. Um, you're better, like most things, just doing a couple of sheets at a time. Take your time. There we go. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom the camera in and we'll adjust the focus and all that so you can see what these look like. And we'll just play with the focus a bit. You can kind of get the idea. I think what I'll do is I'll unzoom the camera. And we will just take the product to the user, shall we say. So I'm just going to move that. As I say, very solid. I've seen a lot of people talking about these on the various modeling forums. So, yeah, it's quite the uh, interesting little product. And again, if you want that real realism, I think it would definitely, definitely help. Let me see if I get the zoom going here. You get the idea. There you go. Kind of tough to see, but you get the idea. Again, we're talking very small. There we go. So again, you could basically add these to your diorama, uh, treat them, etc. Um, make as much as you want, depending on what you're uh, looking for. A lot of different uh, varieties. If we look at the FlexiFile site, and I will put this out um, with the description to the video. Uh, yeah, they have all sorts of different ones. Lime oak, various different sizes. So two different sizes of lime to cover from 116th to 130th, and then 135th, 143rd, 
48. This is uh, this is the gray color. It's uh, product 1300, and it's a four-leaf uh, punch, which covers 135th to 148th. Um, and there's also ones with miniature branches, um, all sorts of different things. Uh, again, a good dozen or so. It's very, very good, good product. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Um, I would definitely get some more of these uh, down the road. So, yeah. So that's it today for the tool review. Hope you found it interesting. As normal, don't forget to subscribe. Let me fix the focus here so you don't have to see. We get the final product and focus at least would help. So as I said, this is the this is the leaf punch from Green Stuff World. Give it a whirl. Let me know uh, what you think if you already have one in the comments. There we go. So yeah, great basic punch. Green Stuff World looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it. That is a very short and, shall we say, choppy tool review because I haven't done one for a while. And I felt I owed you all one. And that's it for now. Thank you. And